Let me be honest. I had every intention to start this new year differently. In fact, I planned on it, literally, weeks in advance getting all the things done so I could be ready and hit the ground running, as they say. But then life took over, and I was reminded yet again of the importance of going at your own pace, listening to your body, doing what feels right for you. So while the rest of the world was moving at a pace I couldn't, I had to remember that I am not defined by my level of productivity, because productivity is not a race, it is not a contest. Hustle culture is toxic AF, and if I wasn't careful, I'd be sucked into the very pattern and thought processes I had been working so hard to unlearn. But I caught myself. I slowed down, rested, drank my tea, did what I could with the energy I had until I started to feel better. And so here we are, rolling into 2022. Hello beautiful friends and welcome back to another vlog. Happy New Year. Welcome to the first vlog of 2022. Today is my reset day, kind of my New Year reset. It's Sunday so it's like a Sunday mini reset. I don't want to say routine but it's me getting back on track. We're also going to do a little bit of like vision boarding. I'm going to talk a little bit about my goals, not in a very formal like talking head way but just like throughout the vlog. I'm actually going to do a whole separate video on what my main 2022 goals goals are they're a little bit different than what i've talked about on the vlogs before but i realized that it's what i needed and we'll talk about that some more too let's get into the first bit as you saw i was writing in my gratitude journal so i wanted to share with you what my new gratitude journal is for 2022 in case you're new here i'm a huge journaling person i've been journaling since i was a kid like literally since i was like eight i've always had like a notebook and just wrote stuff in there so um i started with a five minute journal it's a great way to enter the world of journaling if you guys are interested and curious about it and you really don't know how to go about it the five minute gratitude journal is a really great way to start so i've used the five minute journal several times and then what i would do is just like use a regular notebook sometimes just to kind of switch things up a little bit and then last summer i found this morning and evening reflection journal on amazon so i picked up the clever fox they make planners which i didn't even know about this is a gratitude and mindfulness journal and I love it like look at these details they are so beautiful the texture on this has this little what do you call this like a little strap binder thing hold everything together there's something for your pen so basically there is a morning reflection as well as an evening reflection so in the morning you write down your main goals what you're excited about what you're grateful for there's different prompts in here so every day I think is something um, a little bit different and also um how you're feeling the other thing that i really really liked about this there's also a weekly reflection so you have a weekly exercise and then a weekly review this also has a monthly wellness check as well as the monthly review so i really like that this was gratitude but also mindfulness and wellness tied into it because you guys already know i am still going a little bit deeper in my self-love self-care healing journey so I felt like this was perfect I'm such an ass because as I was finishing up writing and like putting my pen in here I realized there's a pocket in the back of the book right here and I didn't even realize that it came with stickers I'm not a huge sticker person but I really like these so we have just like quotes and things here we also have this one is a bunch of statements be happy don't look back you're not going that way just like a bunch of one-liners this one which is more like a checklist and like things to highlight things like that so I thought that was really cool keep this in the back pocket and that's my gratitude journal so something that overall that I'm really working on this year my main goal is to really work on my everyday habits and everyday routines my morning routines i've had like down packed and so i really wanted to just continue with my morning routine with my morning pages with my gratitude with checking in with myself and the routine that i'm struggling with the most that i'm trying to like implement and i started this at the end of like last year like around september october just working on my nighttime routine so i start my evenings at like nine like that's when i start to do my skincare shower wash my face all of that stuff and my goal is to be in bed by 10 absolutely no screens which is why like i wanted to start reading 
reading again because I found myself staying up on my phone reading but I was like reading articles and it's still my phone right so you're tempted to like look at other things and it's still that screen time so I still want to continue reading throughout the year and my goal is one book a month hopefully if you saw my previous vlog or like two vlogs ago I got the self-love workbook and the book called wire to create so those two things have been part of my nighttime routine now like I'll try to do an exercise or a meditation in the self-love workbook and then I'm gonna start reading wired to create again because I'm only like 30 pages in I treated myself to a Starbucks caramel macchiato I usually do my treats for Fridays but I haven't treated myself to anything and I have to say this does not taste like a caramel macchiato at all it is quite a disappointment now let's talk about vision boards and goals and all that before starting my 2022 goals I reviewed my 2021 goals and I have a video on how I set goals and things like that it's pretty much the same I don't want to get too into it because there is a video I will link that in the cards as well as the description box I still do the four quadrant method as well as as, you know trying to set smart goals the new moon was what like a week ago or something like that I did a new moon meditation I really sat in silence with myself and thought about what I really really wanted for this year what my intentions were and I wrote that all out and then I viewed my 20 21 goals which are in this book here I realized that for whatever reason I had a lot of number driven goals for 2021 and that's not very like me and I didn't accomplish any of my numbers goals but I accomplished everything else and what I realized in that process was that what I accomplished were the things that I actually needed and so my biggest recommendation for you if you're a goal setting and you're taking the time to write these goals out is to really think about what it is that you want but what is it that you really need? Because it's it's easy for me to say like as a content creator, I want to be monetized on YouTube and I want a thousand subscribers or 10,000 subscribers or I'm going to make X amount of money as an influencer. And as an actor, I want to be a series regular. Like... <laughs> So we all want to be serious regulars. But the truth is those are goals that are dependent on somebody else giving that to you. And you don't always have control over those things. So what are the daily habits and actions that I need to do to get me there? But more importantly, like what is it that I really want to feel? I looked at my 2020 goals because I was thinking, did I do the same thing? Like did I still have number driven goals? And I didn't. They were completely different. And for 2020, I accomplished so many more of my goals and so I realized something must have changed in like my daily habits and what I was watching or reading or who I was around or whatever like where did this obsession with numbers slowly come from that I didn't even realize at the time so if you find yourself feeling like you want something or that you should need to want something or you have this thing like oh I'm supposed to want this or I'm supposed to really think about why that is and where that's coming from and make sure that it's coming from you like you really want that and try to figure out why or is that something that's coming from an external source now it's time to work on our 2022 vision board but first let's look at 2021 say one final peace out So I've cleared off my vision board and I have my blank slate. I have gold glittery paper. I actually bought this a couple of years ago and it's the Harmony Diamond Print Glitter. Um, you can actually print on this. I just use it as a backdrop. I got it from Staples. This is what the little thing looks like out front, like the label. And it's not glitter that falls out because I really hate that. It is time to put it together. So let me show you guys how I like to do this. Let me put this camera down. Typically, I like to make my vision boards before the new year, but I was out on Long Island, so I had to do, you know, the best that I could. So I did something a little bit different this year. I basically made mini boards on eight and a half by 11 paper. So usually that I, the way that I space out my vision board is I make it everything. It's my acting, it's personal. I break up the board basically in four sections, the upper left, the upper right, lower left a lower right and each section is dedicated to an area that I really want to focus on for this year and then I just put the pictures that I want on there this time I basically made like mini vision boards like I said and so each section has its own piece of paper so this is my acting one and basically I'm going to use these mini boards that I created and put them in each area and then I'm going to take my time and look through 
magazines I took these from my mama <laughs> i usually do a combination of magazines and whatever i find online and continue to find images and words that are truly inspiring to me and that truly feel like they represent what my intentions are so this isn't just about finding pretty pictures and just putting it on your board because it's pretty this is about really being intentional about what images you are choosing to put on your board because this reflects what your goals are so i have my book here so i can review again what my 2022 goals are and make sure that i'm really paying attention to the images that i come across and going with what feels right to me like the image and the word has to really draw me in and i have to this sounds really corny but i have to feel connected to it you know what i mean like whatever is on here is because it is meant to be here i was called to put it on here it is intentional and the action of actually sitting here and putting that work in looking at my list cutting the pictures out putting it on this board like that's the part of vision boarding that i love the most and that's why i prefer making a physical vision board versus a digital one this is my uh, printed version of my digital vision board which is on my desktop i'm going to use this as kind of like my backdrop so not just the gold paper but also this now's the fun part make it fun make it fun put on music something inspiring get a glass of wine i have my coffee so i'm going to do that if you have girlfriends make a vision board party just have it re have it really be fun when it comes to me and my goals i don't really share a lot of them publicly because i just don't always think that you have to do that i feel like some dreams and goals are so personal to you and placed in your heart for a reason they're not meant to be shared with everyone so yes i have these images here and you may see glimpses of them but only I know what they truly truly mean and that's just how I like to approach it general things like what I shared earlier about just working on my daily habits and routines type of goals I don't mind sharing that but everything else it is like personal and specific and like I said it feels so special I like to hold on to that you know what I mean got my phone I'm gonna put some really chill positive vibrational type of music on Sitting in silence, we still feel the vibe But you could not say a word And I know what you just decided We'd be riding the same wave All the water's perfect, babe The heat is rising The time is melting from my fingertips So so I'm like an hour in and I'm still in it. Usually I give myself a word for the year and I let it come to me. For some reason this year it really didn't come to me until literally I think it was like two days ago or something like that. And my word is just ease. Like I want to ease into everything and I don't like to rush. I don't want to force anything. I really want to just go with the flow. And so I'm looking through this magazine and I find the word to reflect that. Easy. Perfect. And as soon as I saw it I was like that's it. That's what I need. And that's the feeling that you should get when you're doing this exercise. So let me get back to it. Get I'm going to do my January February budget something that I really want to get better at for this year is checking in on my budget weekly monthly at the very least and just having a nice overview of what's coming in what's going out I just want to get really I just want to get better at that period so I'm going to show you guys what I use to do that basically i am using this template in google sheets i honestly don't remember if this is one of the templates that already comes with it or if i found it online that someone created and i just copied and saved it to my drive but what i really like about it is that there is a summary tab down here and there's a transactions tab so it's divided into expenses and income you can use the categories that it comes with but you can also add custom categories you put in the transactions tab under expenses and income will automatically update in the summary page and you'll see it here the, under the totals tab it will be in the category so like if i put as an expense on the transactions tab t-mobile and i categorize that as like i don't know personal or something like that when i switch over to the summary tab it's going to show up 
um, under personal. You won't see it listed as what the actual bill is. It's going to total by category, if that makes any sense. So yeah, this is what I use. I've literally tried everything, including apps, and this is just what works best for me. If I can find it, I will link it in the description box. If not, it's probably just one of the regular templates in Google Sheets. All right, friends, I'm wrapping up the vlog up here. I really, really hope that you enjoyed the very first vlog of 2022. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.